Ladies and gentlemen, old guy back at Starved Rock Harley Davidson in Ottawa, Illinois today. This is the 2024 Harley Davidson Breakout 117. MSRP for the base model is $22,499. With this model in this color, it's like $23,200, something like that. I'll put it on the screen. This bike is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> And I really look forward to taking it out on the road and seeing what it's like to ride it. Because, like I've always said, the most important thing about bikes is how they make you feel while you ride. So let's take a look at the specs and hit the road on this beautiful machine. So this is the absolutely glorious Harley-Davidson 117 engine. I've ridden a few bikes with the 117, and it is amazing. It's claiming somewhere around... 100 brake, 100 brake horsepower, 101, kicking in around 4,700 RPMs, 123 foot-pounds of torque, give or take. It, it's such a really nice engine, and it's really great to ride. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, because I said 117, this is a 1917 cc V-twin. And like I said, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So up front as normal, this is a standard telescopic front fork, non-adjustable, and a, I'm sorry, but an absolutely beautiful 130, 60, 21 inch rim and tire. It's just gorgeous looking. Something about this bike just screams style to me, and it's just beautiful. I love it. So following into the back with this beautiful chrome, exhaust and everything just flows up. We have the single rear shock in the back with remote preload adjuster, which is really, really nice. Um, we have a 240, 4018 rear tire. Tire's freaking really big. It's obviously I've seen Harleys with 320s, 340s. I think I saw one with a 360 once, but 240 is plenty in the rear tire for me. I think it looks really nice. Adds that nice big fat back tire look to it when you're going, when you're taking, you know, walks around. It's a beautiful, beautiful combination on this bike. And I really do love the looks. So anybody who's watched the channel before, I am five foot nine inches tall. I am 220 pounds and I have a 30 inch inseam. Not gonna make a damn bit of difference on this bike though. Because the seat height is like 25.6 inches. Incredibly low. Um, and the weight, surprisingly enough, is only claiming like 683. Which is incredibly light for a Harley. Um, most Harleys are 700 plus. So this bike is going to be very easy to get my foot over it. And it's going to be very easy to pick it up. So, yeah, oh, that kickstand up. We are on kind of a hill. Um, this is, I'm completely flat footed, obviously. Um, this seat is plush, comfortable. Um, reach to the bars is also very, very relaxed. This has a feet forward riding position. And that's where I find my first issue with the bike. But... We can talk about that more as we ride. So let's take this thing for a ride. All right. The breakout for 2024. Okay. Right. Let's go for a little ride. As I've said before about many Harleys, specifically the 117, it's got plenty of torque. So when you're just off, just release the clutch, this bike's got so much torque it just starts moving by itself. So this tiny little screen, you got the RPM, you can change that with this little toggle there. And to get it to kilometers, press and hold that. Um, if that's what you want. 
but you have your fuel fuel indicator you have your gear indicator it's very very small it's not even that bright but it integrates very well it's very very integrated into that little dashboard there it doesn't it doesn't turn in super fast nor would you expect it to that the bigger you make the back tire the less nimble it's going to be and this is already a 66 inch wheelbase so we're not exactly talking about a nimble machine in the first place but when you ride it oh god damn just get out and just ride it's beautiful now sure you have no wind protection on this motorcycle which you know it is what it is <laughs> you don't knew that when I looked at it um, but honestly this thing is just the style of this bike and the, 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 the fun thing about it is it's not super vibrational either getting on this engine. I mean, this is not even barely twisting that throttle. And it's got plenty of power. Plenty of power. Super, super comfortable. Just have one thing. <laughs> Just one thing about this bike. Oh, God. I mean, right here, right, just riding down the road, you know, 54, 55, whatever. It just, uh, in fact, set the cruise. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, it's just really good. And it's, I don't know, man, I look at this bike and I just see this glorious look, this style of this motorcycle, and it just screams at me, you, you, you gotta buy it, you gotta buy it, you gotta buy it. Being able to just sit back and take it in, take the, you know, glorious stonework over there, and trees, and <laughs> you know, this is not exactly the most picturesque spot, <laughs> but, and like I mentioned, kill the cruise, just roll forward, hit the brake, change gear, whatever you want to do. Uh, for me at 5.9 with a size 12, I would have to adjust that uh, shifter peg just a hair. It's a little low, uh, that's all, just adjustment up. Just for me, it's a comfort thing, it's a personal thing. But the seat is really, really comfortable. I like the uh, the slight rise in the in the back of the seat that goes up to the passenger pack, the passenger seat. It keeps you very planted when you're riding down the road. And this the suspension is, while not adjustable in the front with the preload in the back. The suspension is quite nice. You know, this this road is not the most comfortable road. It's quite bumpy. It's not it's not a great road. Um, but the suspension is kind of gliding right over it. Bigger bumps, I can feel them, but. There's not a lot of pressure in my back, specifically my lower back, which some people do find when they're dealing with forwards and it's kind of like that C riding position that you have pressure in your lower back as you're leaning like that without any leg support. But I'm not really seeing that on this bike. I have not found a Harley that wasn't so well finished as far as paint and 
the way the chrome looks and I mean these are some spots but it's just wiping off but it's just ah, the fit and finish on a Harley it to me just does it this is gorgeous I mean for me my leg does kind of touch the uh, primary casing there so you know just kick your leg out just a little bit but it, just note that it's going to be hot so I wouldn't exactly recommend shorts on the bike <laughs> really wouldn't and this side is the same because that uh that exhaust is right there we're gonna find out right now how this handles just a little bit of curves okay these are 35 mile an hour curves nothing crazy It is a beautiful section of road. See, you see that? It's a, it's the, it, unlike a sport bike where it just dives over. Or even the KTM's that I've ridden down this road for this channel. It kind of eh, all right. Let's <laughs> let's let's all right, we can lean over. It's fine. It just takes a second to kind of, yeah, all right. You see how I kind of, I kind of put it over and let it kind of roll into it a little bit. <laughs> just you know, the nature of the bike. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, it's really nice though. That's the reason right there that I, you know, once I get to a certain point, I'm always paying very close attention because that's kind of blind. It's not really right on there. So I'm slowing down and making sure I'm well and well in advance in a safe spot. Three, two, one. Probably somewhere in the fives, I would guess. I love the, as I mentioned before, I love the fact that this back seat has a, a rise, you know, where it comes up and then up, because when that torque hits, oh god, you start sliding backwards, you feel it. And if this was a flat seat, I would have slid all the way back, been holding on with holding on up here. Kick it up in neutral. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, one thing that I would change, and that's that. That's it. It looks really good. It's just really uncomfortable, you know. So what are you going to do? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, 2024, Harley-Davidson, breakout, 117. It is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Uh, special thanks to Star Rock Harley Davidson for allowing me to take this out for a little bit and showcase it for everybody so they can get a little feel for it. And if you're in this area, check these guys out. Really great dealer. Everybody, stay safe. And as always, enjoy the ride.